Good morning, family. Welcome back to Daily Prayer and Devotion. We're happy to be back again to your company. I'm going to say shalom. Happy Monday to you. A lot of people don't like Mondays, but this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to go before him in prayer once again. We're thanking him for his faithfulness. By him being faithful, he enables us to be faithful. We're faithful in any area of our lives because of him, because he has made it available for you to remain faithful. If you trust in his word, he can bring everything that is in his will to pass. So we want to keep our lives in alignment with his will. Today we're going to be talking about kept by the power of of Yah, kept by the power of God. We're going to be talking about being kept. Uh, a lot of people sometimes are nervous when they uh, start on this journey and when they walk uh, according to his word and faith. They are, are on pins and needles, but you don't have to be. You can walk by faith because we are kept by the power. It's not our uh, goodness or not our way of righteousness but it's his way and if we walk in his way he can keep us he will keep us hallelujah all you have to do is have a willing heart and a willing desire kept by the power of yah hallelujah we thank the father for all of you that's joining in we we want to speak blessings over your life this morning we want your day to be bright uh, i have a, a funeral today you know that that's a part of life uh, so uh, we just are going to be encouraged regardless of what we're going to thank him. We're going to honor him and praise him regardless. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to get into the word. We're going to go ahead and and start. We're going to be looking in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 42. And uh, we're going to glean from the scriptures there and see what the Father has to say to us this morning. We want you to draw your minds in and lay your hearts out before him. Lay your desires out before him. Whatever it is you need him to do, let's trust in him together. Let's call on him with one voice. We see a lot of things unraveling, a lot of things happening. We see that uh, we have China that, you know, is really flexing its muscles according to war and uh, things like that. But we know that we will have wars and rumors of wars, but we are kept by the power of the Most High. Hallelujah. All right, let's get started. Uh, we're going to be looking in uh, the book of Isaiah today, and we pray and trust that all is well with you and your families, that the Father is keeping you and taking you through every test, trial, and tribulation as we go before him in prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Kept by the power of God. Hallelujah. We're going to be looking in the book of Isaiah chapter number 42. Hallelujah. Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, He that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, He that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, 
and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth, ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord, and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war, he shall cry, yea, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holden my peace, I have been still, and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman, I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills, and dry up all their herbs, and I will make the rivers islands, and I will dry up the pools." And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them, and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, and not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images, that say to the molten images, Ye are our gods. Hear ye, deaf. And look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf, as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant? Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness' sake. He will magnify the law, and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith, Restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? But they would not walk in his ways neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger, and the strength of battle, and it hath set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Hallelujah. Let's go before the Father in prayer and supplication. Let us seek his face. Let us cry out to him because he is the only one that can help us. He is the only one that can save. He is the only one that can keep you. We are kept by his power, not by our might, but by his spirit. Let us look unto him. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And he is the one that is able to do exceeding abundant above all we ask or think hallelujah father as we come before you we pray this morning that you'll look down upon your people look upon each and every one in each and every one of our situation one may be coming for you to do them blessings in one area and one may be coming for help in another. But Father, we come before you as one on today. We come before you as humble as we know how, calling on your name and seeking your face, that you may be able to touch, heal, and deliver, that you may be able to do that which we cannot do for ourselves. We come before you this morning and pray on behalf of everyone on the line. We pray, Father, that you extend your hand of mercy, touch, heal, and deliver as we come before you. Father, we don't know the situation that many men are standing up against, but we know that you are the one that is able to uphold us with your mighty hand. We are kept by your power. 
It's not by our power, but it's by your power that we are being able to do that which you demand or require of us. And we pray, Father, that you keep us in the center of your will. Help us to stand. Help us to be able to proclaim, proclaim righteousness before your people. We thank you for all the many blessings that you have given us already. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you, Father, for the perseverance, for the continuing in the spirit. All of this time that we have been coming before you and and been giving your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Let it not come to naught, but let us continue. Let us uphold your righteousness. Let us share your word. Father, we pray blessings upon this house. We pray blessings upon your people. We pray, Father, that you look and have mercy upon each and every one. Whatever the situation is, we know that we're kept by your power. We can't do it in and of ourselves, but we need your help. We're here today to call on you and make our requests known. We're here today to let you know our shortcomings. We're here today to open our lives before you, even though you already know the way that we take. But Father, we're transparent before you in our words and in our deeds to let you know father that you are our source we're kept by your power we're here to pray and to seek your face and to intercede for our sisters and our brothers to call upon your name that you may extend your hand of mercy to your people we're bringing our cases before you the hard ones as well as the easy ones. We're praying, Father, that you look down upon those that are going through problems, going through troubles, going through situations in their life, family problems, work-related problems. Father, we pray that you will come in the situation and prove yourself mighty. Overturn some of the spirits that are taking hold of your people overturn jealousy envy and strife we pray father that you help us as your people to see the error of our ways that we may humble ourselves before your mighty hand that we will have a better understanding so that we'll be perfect before your eyes that we will be acceptable that our lives will speak for us and not our words, but, but that our life will be the one that you will look at, that will be a testimony. Because many times, Father, we, we are in a situation where only you can help us. Many times we have come to the place that we're destitute. But because of your word, because of your spirit, you pull us out and you lift us up. You raise us up. So, Father, we're letting you know today that we're kept by your power. It's only because of you that we're here today. It's only because of your love that you have shown that we're able to be sustained. So help us to continue to trust in your word. Help us to continue to seek your face. Help us to continue to intercede for our sisters and our brothers as well as our family members, we pray, Father, that you will keep us in the center of your will. We pray, Father, that you help relationships. Relationships between fathers, sons, sisters, brothers. Relationships between parents and children. We pray, Father, that you will give your people the desire. Take away haughtiness. Take away pride. Take away the thing that causes confusion. We pray, Father, that you take it away and settle the spirits. We pray, Father, that you help your people, that we might humble ourselves and not have your hand to humble us. But you told us to humble ourselves up under your mighty hand, 
that we might be exalted in due time. So, Father, we're praying, Father, that you keep us in the proper mindset. Keep us in the area where we can be blessed. Don't let us stray away from the place of your protection. Keep us in the center of your will. Help us to stand in that secret place of the Most High. Help us to be in the position where blessings continually to flow to us, through us. We pray, Father, for your help, for your divine wisdom to be imparted to your people. Help us to keep our words. Help us to hold our mouth. Help us to speak those things that become sound doctrine. Put wisdom words in our mouth. Let your anointing flow from your people. We pray, Father, that you help us to speak pros- prosperity, prosperity pre- speak, Father, help us to speak that we may be able to speak a word prophetically without trying. Help us to word our mouth. Help us, Father, to, to be able to come before you in the situation that we are in. Help us, Father, to, to be able to be an example to the believer as we come before you. We know that we're only a vessel in need of your spirit. Without your spirit, within our vessels, we are nothing. We're nothing but a mere shell. Without your spirit flowing through us, we cannot amount to much. But Father, if we're full of your spirit, if we're full of your word, full of, full of the Holy Ghost, then we can be an instrument utilized for salvation. Then we can be a help to someone. Then our prayers will be more effective. Then we can fulfill the scripture that tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man will avail much. Then we can be effective. So help us to put away the the works of the flesh, the actions of the flesh. Help us to put away anger. Help us to put away wrath and all those harsh words that will bring our souls into captivity. But help us to speak those things that promote holiness and righteousness. Father, we need your help on this morning. We cannot help ourselves apart from your word. Through your word, we'll be able to do all the great exploits that you have desired for us to do, that you have placed us down here to do and to perform. Father, help us today. Help every man, every woman, every boy, every girl that's under the sound of my voice. We pray, Father, that they will be able to move in the spirit. We pray, Father, that they'll be able to look, see that the world is tumbling down. Help them to see that this is not a place of security. Help them to understand that we must be kept by your power. When all the enemy is ready to do is destroy and to kill and to overturn and to take away and cause disruption, cause separation in households and families. We see that that's the hand of the enemy. But Father, we pray that you help us to stay focused. Help us, Father, to to be approachable. Take away from us the spirit of wrath. Take away from us the spirit of trying to, to belittle one another, but, but help us to upbraid one another. Help us to speak things that will promote one another. We thank you. We honor and praise you. Help us to be a reasonable people. We are looking unto you. You're the author and the finish of our faith. Help us not to be one that is so critical that no one can can really comprehend or really Uh, deal with a person because they are too judgmental, too critical of everything. Take that away from us. You told us in your word, come now, let us reason together. Though we even have had problems, though our sins were like scarlet, you said you you was going to make them white as snow. Even though they were red like crimson, you said that you was going to make them as wool. So, Father, we need that spirit so that we can deal with men and women, so that we can lead them into the place 
of security so that they might be kept by your power. Father, give us a word, a word that, that will help men and women. Give us a word that will pull men up in their mindset, not as to uh, cater to their fleshly desires, but Father, help us to speak words that will cause them to do that which is pleasing in your sight. That's what's going to last in their life. That's what's going to bring them to the place of reckoning. We need your help today. Hallelujah. We pray for men and women. We pray for everyone that's under the sound of my voice. Everyone that will prepare themselves and come before you on a daily basis. We pray blessings over their household. We pray, Father, that you keep them in the center of, the, of your will, that they might be able to move and do that which you desire. We pray for them. Anyone that have chimed in on this channel today, we speak a word before you, Father. Be with them throughout the day. Lead and guide them into all truth. Let them feel your presence. Let them know and have the security that they are in your divine will. Take away fear, take away doubt, and take away unbelief from your people. Help your people to understand that this is the way. If anyone is unsure, Father, give them the assurance, the full assurance of faith that they may be able to function and move according to your will. We're honoring you today. We're praising you. We're magnifying your name. We're giving you the glory. Because you are there for us. We thank you and we magnify your name today. Father, we thank you for being kept by your power. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for giving us a mind to come before you in prayer. Even in our inadequacies. Father, we're, we're striving for perfection. And through your word, we'll be able to obtain it. And we're honoring you and we're praising you on today because you have blessed us once again to arise to give you praise. You have blessed us to wake up in the morning looking hasha, to looking unto you because you're the author and the finish of our faith. We're not living our lives in and of and to ourselves, but we're living our lives, Father, as extending to you. We're counting on you. We're depending upon you. We know that without you, we can do nothing. So we're thanking you and we're honoring and praising your name this morning. Father, be with us this day that we might be an instrument towards salvation, that we may be a person, a medium of praise, that we will be able to intercede for sisters and brothers and loved ones for the lost. We thank you, we honor, we praise your name. In the name of Yahweh Shai, that the world know as Jesus, we pray. We say amen, amen, and amen. Come on, family, let's magnify his name. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the honor and the praise. The Bible tells us, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Whatever you are going through, you can praise your way through it. Whatever you're going through, he is there to help you. So let's magnify him today. Hallelujah. If your heart is saddened, if you're heavy in your heart today, we, we're we going to praise our way that it would be like lightning the load that we might call upon him in praise, prayer, and worship. Come on, let's give him some glory. Let's give him some honor. Let's give him some praise on this morning. Let's magnify him, even though you might not feel like it. Even though your spirit might feel stagnant, you still can praise him. You still can magnify him. You still can give him glory. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. We praise you this morning. We honor you this morning for all the great things that you have already done. You just keep on blessing us. You keep on blessing. You continually bless us day after day after day. And we thank you. We're not just going to live our lives all to ourselves, but we're going to honor you. We're going to praise you. Thank you for everyone that's giving praise to your name this morning. All of the glorious praise is going up before you. Father, we pray that you look and have mercy upon your people. Bless every home. 
Bless every individual that's on this line. We speak blessings. We speak healing in your mighty precious name. Touch, heal, and deliver by your precious power. We thank you on this morning. We praise you and we magnify you high in your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And we glorify your name and we honor and we give you all the praise. In the name of your house, shall that the world knows Jesus. We say amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. All right, family, we're so happy to be back again today. We are a blessed people. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what you're going through. But I'm here to tell you that you're going to make it. Everything's going to be all right. As long as you keep him in your life, as long as you keep him first and foremost, you can't do nothing but come out with flying colors. Hallelujah. So we're here to thank him. We're here to honor him. We're here to praise him for all the things that he has done. That's our sole purpose as to come before him in prayer, come before him in supplication to cover his people, to cover our families. He has made us the intercessors of our homes. You have a circle of people that you are influential with. And through his word, they're going to be blessed by the words that you speak. You have the power to speak blessings because you have, you have been solidified in his spirit. He has called you and he has placed you in a position. You know, when you continue to come before for the Father on a continual basis, that you are charting, you are uh, positioning yourself, you are slated as a conduit through which his spirit can flow and speak. You're gaining the power and the authority to be able to speak blessings over your homes, over your families, over your children. You're being recognized in the heavenly realm because of your continual, ha, ah, glory, thank you, because of your continued faithfulness, he's recognizing you. At one time we were strangers, foreigners, but by you consistently coming before him, calling upon him, on a consistent basis, you're no stranger. You have a right, hallelujah. You have gained the right. So we must keep our rapport. We must keep our position with him so that we can be fresh, so that we will be identified as one of those that, that are, are uh, utilizing the prayer medium. You have angels that are waiting to, to do and to perform as you pray to the Father. He gives the angels charge to go out into the rim, into the areas, and do and perform and to cause things to happen, to open the doors, to close doors through your prayers. The Bible asks the question, what is man? that thou art mindful of him, and the Son of Man, that thou visited him. You have power once you solidify, once you uh, uh, get approved through your faithfulness. See, faithfulness, uh, your faith is very powerful and very strong. It does not uh, happen just overnight. You, your faith has to be developed. The Bible says, exercise your faith when you exercise your faith just like when you exercise your muscles they become stronger when you exercise you, you, when you do it on a continued basis then you have definition hallelujah you're more refined you you you're more uh built up in the spirit hallelujah so this is what this is all about we're not just coming here for the sake of just gathering together, but something is happening in the spirit realm. You're going to be one of those ones that the Father will speak to you in the last days and give you divine direction for your household. 
Yes, we're going to need it. You're not going to be able to just all of a sudden be astray and be somewhere in your mind separated from him and hear his voice. He said, my sheep will hear my voice and a stranger he would not follow. So you're recognizing him by consistently being in his face. Uh, let's go and let's look at what the word has to say on, on this morning. I can I can talk about him because he is the one that he is the reason that we're here. Without him, we wouldn't even be here. We we wouldn't even know anything about this glorious opportunity that he has given mankind. But because we have obeyed the, the gospel and because we have been washed in his blood, now we are candidates to reign in the kingdom. The kingdom uh, it starts in your mind because the kingdom is within you. But we want to see the kingdom come into fruition in our surroundings and in our environment. We want to see the kingdom come to the earth. Hallelujah. So we are kept by the power of Yah. Our Yah is keeping you today, even as we speak high glory. Mm. I'm so glad I can feel his presence. We are kept by his power. And, and and that's a strong statement. Because the power of the Most High is omnipotent. In other words, it's all powerful. He is more powerful than nuclear power. He's more powerful than money power. You know, he can cause things to happen in your life that will cost a whole lot of money. But it, it doesn't cost you a dime. Sometimes people spend all kinds of money trying to get healed or going to the doctor like the woman that had the issue of blood. She spent all her living. But one encounter with Christ, when she touched the hem of his garment, she was healed. Hallelujah. Instantly. Look at the power. Now, money couldn't buy that because she had already tried. She spent all of her living. This is what we're into. This is, this is what we're really uh, tapping into. We're tapping into something that's greater than money because the money in this world eventually is going to dissipate. The Bible says take wings and fly away. And then it's, it's the root of all evil. But we need something more. Now you do need you need finance to live, but don't don't get me wrong, don't misunderstand me. But we need the power of the Most High. We, that's how we kept. We kept by the power of the Most High. It didn't cost it, it. Your money didn't keep you. It was the power of the Most High. You don't want to be like Simon the Sorcerer. He ran his hand in his pocket trying to purchase the power of the Holy Ghost, but it cannot be bought with money. Our theme scripture comes from 1 Peter 1 and 5 and says, Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. We are in the last time, so we're preparing ourselves. So this power and this salvation can be, be revealed through us. It's got to be revealed through a people. Hallelujah. Say who are kept. That's a people. By the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So he's going to have to have somebody to reveal this through. And who is it? None other than us. The ones that are consistently coming before him and seeking his face. Not just here and now at this particular time, but we seek him throughout the day. We start our day with him and we seek him throughout the day. We start our day uh, uh, in his divine presence. That blesses your entire day. Hallelujah. All right, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 42, we're going to look at a few scriptures before we let you go. It says, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon you. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. So it's talking to a specific people. 
sometime in the in the in the regular Christian church, they do not clarify that the Father does have a specific people, and He's going to raise them up in the last day, and they're going to be a light to the Gentiles. Hallelujah! It says, "Behold, my servant, whom I whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighted." I have put my spirit upon you, and he should bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Verse number two says, He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. Hallelujah. A bruised reed shall he not break, and a smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth the judgment unto truth. So this is our purpose. We're not trying to do something so uh, extravagant. We're just walking and speaking in the area of his divine judgment. We're just being utilized of the spirit. We're not trying to make a name for ourselves. We already have a name. If you let the father make a name for you, it cannot be tainted. If you walk in his will and walk in his way, you will uphold your name. You will walk and keep your name in, a t in integrity. Hallelujah. Yes, if you obey his word, you won't have to worry about your name being slandered. No, no matter how men try to slander you or try to belittle you or make you seem like you're nothing, your name speaks for you. Your word, your, your life speaks for you. God speaks for you. Hallelujah. You can't allow men to take to you uh, that you're this or you're that. The Holy Spirit will let men know that. Anyone that's walking on the road to righteousness, you can't be depending on a depraved men to, to give you the accolades that come from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They look at us like we crazy. Because we believe in the Most High. But keep on believing. Don't stop. Let's continue. He should not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law. So in other words, he's going to bring something to this world. So fasten your seatbelt, sisters and brothers. This world is going to be in for... A uh, 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 topsy turvy is going to be turned upside down. So our stance is in Him. That's why we preparing ourselves. We getting ready. We getting ready. We're kept by the power of the Most High. We getting ready for what's getting ready to happen. And we know something is getting ready to happen. You can feel it. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it in the atmosphere. Something is getting ready to happen. We see all the wars brewing up. Uh, I, at the beginning of this uh, uh, session, I speak about China. They're flexing their muscles, preparing and, and, and getting themselves together and partnering with, with Russia. So we're getting ready to see something. But what the Father is going to do is going to outpace everything that has ever been in the history of the world. Let's continue. Thus said God, the Lord, that he have created heaven and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, that he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, the spirit of them that walk therein. Look at what he's doing. We serve this kind of of God, that he's bringing all these things to pass. Hallelujah. Look at that scripture one more time and see what it says. Thus said God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it. Did you hear that? He that giveth bread unto the people upon it and the spirit to them that walk therein. So a person that does not honor the Father, you are deprived because he is the one that is given all life. 
He is the one that gives you the breath that you have. He is the one that, that allows you to walk upon the face of the earth. I said that he gives you all seven days of the week. And sometimes people don't want to give him one day, don't want to give him an hour. This is but uh, uh, one thing that we can do is to come before him in respect and in honor and pay attention to him. One hour in a day. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise and glory. Give him some glory because it, it's our duty to honor him. Hallelujah. All right, let's continue on. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness. I will hold thine hand. I will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. So we keep on seeing that statement. He's saying that he's going to make you a light unto the Gentiles. So that lets you know that we do have a place, we do have a position, and a lot of people are still looking unto the Gentiles for direction. They don't have it. They don't know the way. They don't know the way. We are the ones that, that have uh, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding deeply embedded in our DNA. It just has to be primed by the Spirit. There is something different about you. It's easier for you to approach the throne and get results than it is anybody else in the earth. Yes, that's right. Anybody else in the earth. For instance, let's just take uh, the, the, the P. Diddy case. Let's just look at him for a moment. Because he have that DNA that uh, the Most High put in us, Although he's walk, walking and working in the wrong spirit, he's working with Satan, but still the influence that he had is uh, yet up on him because the Father placed something up on us that was supposed to be distributed throughout the world. So we see that this young man is influential in sin in all walks of life. Yeah, princes are going to these uh, diabolical parties and gatherings and all the people with money that come into him. See, that that's a trait. That same power, if utilized in the spirit, if we had a, the multiplicity of the true people of the Most High exhibiting the spirit of grace, we could change the world. And it eventually it will happen because he's going to Allegate to us all of the divine authority, those of us that stay faithful and those of us that, that sharpen our, uh, our skills in prayer, those of us that constantly stay in his face, you're going to be the ones that the entire world will be looking at you. You can see it in this scripture. Look at this scripture once again. Verse number six, it says, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and I will hold thy hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. And a lot of times people looking unto the Gentiles as though they have all of the authority and all of the rights, but most of the stuff that they have come from us. Hallelujah. And this is not a word to just be saying to, to try to make us uh, above anybody. I'm just speaking what the Father has done. Hallelujah. Let's look at what the next scripture says. It says, "Open to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. This is what he has uh, designed us to do. We have words and power to do this. I am the Lord. I am Yah, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So you can't go and kneel down before statues like the Gentiles do. He says, my glory I will not give to another. Neither will I give my praise to graven images. So 
we are the vessels that he is utilizing to direct people to true praise, true worship. Let's continue on. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So the prophetic word is yet prevalent in the lives of the true people of the Most High. In our prayers, many times we say, Father, help us to speak prophetically without trying to. You know, sometimes people try to work up a prophecy. The prophecy comes from the Most High. And you don't have to try to, to concentrate and, and try to get no prophetic word. No, you don't have to do all that stuff. If he want to speak through you, he'll just speak through you. And many times he prophesied and he tell you, but when he's distinctively through the old prophets, they would come out and say, thus said the Lord. And a lot of people trying to say that God told them to tell them something. You better know that it's the father that told you to tell that person, whatever it is. All right, let's move on. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages of Kedor doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the island. See, this is why we, when we end our prayer, a lot of times we just try to get everyone that's been praying for that moment to give them the praise. You see what this scripture is saying? It said, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice and the villages of Kiddo doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. So how about us right here? We're going to praise him too. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry. Yea, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. And we're not his enemies, we're on his side. So his enemies are our enemies. Hallelujah. Let's continue. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So this is what we're preparing ourselves for. See, a lot of times people want uh, want things to happen abruptly in their timing, but the Most High has his divine timing, and his time is going to be the right time. We still got people to pray for. We still got to hold the doors of grace open to, so that lost men, lost women can come into the fold. But you have a lot of those evil and wicked folk that call themselves Hebrews. They, they speak destruction over their own people. They don't have a heart of, of concern, but they, they want somebody to be lost. They talk about them and, and have all kind of little derogatory statements that they speak. Notwithstanding, you're talking about the people of the Most High. He gets folk for doing that kind of stuff. I don't care if they are outside of the will of the Father. We don't have the right to talk about our sisters and brothers like that. Talk about even though they're, they are still in darkness, still are thinking that they're doing right. You got preachers that are doing right. Now, I'm not speaking about the ones that know they're doing wrong. I'm not speaking about the ones that are taking advantage of the people in the pews. I'm not speaking about them. But you have a few of the ones that are yet in the Christian church that really have a heart that they want to do what is right. Those are the ones that we're praying for. Those are the ones that we want to see change. We're not going to just throw them, you know, because you, you know why I say that? Because some of us were in that same category. 
So you can't just throw everybody. Judgment can fall on you for being so judgmental because the Bible says just nothing before time. So many times people, they, they speak to a rat just because you're in, in the knowledge of a thing. That does not give you the right to close the door so that nobody else can come in. Keep that door open as long as the Father have the door open. We want to see as many of our sisters and brothers come through that door and acknowledge who they are before it's everlasting too late. We don't want to see them fighting against their own heritage. Somebody has got to reach out to them in the spirit of acceptance, just like somebody did us. Hallelujah. All right, let's continue. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all the herbs and I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools. Hallelujah. So he's going to do some disruptive things. He's going to cause terrible things to happen. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. And I will lead them in paths that they have not known. And I will make darkness light before them, the crooked things straight, and the things will I do unto them and not forsake them. So this is why you can't close the door because he got a day set where he's going to bring a lot of the folk that folk been talking about like they're, they're the, the, the final say-so of folks' lives. Just because they got a little knowledge about who they are. You want to talk about, no, we want to keep the door open. We want as many of our people to come in to the knowledge of who they are as possible. Listen at that scripture again. Verse 16 says, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. That was us. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. But many people, they, they want to see folks forsaken because they got a wicked heart. Their heart needs to be purified. Just because you, you've got a little knowledge and somebody haven't come into that knowledge, you want to trample over them. You want to talk about them. Hallelujah. Let me get ready to close. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images, that say to the molten image, ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf, and look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf but my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant? So, so he's letting you know that I got a lot of blind folks out there. But they still, I sent them, but they don't know yet. They, they haven't come to the knowledge yet. I'm going to open their eyes. Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening the ears, but thou hearest not. The Lord is well pleased for the righteous sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. And they are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil. And none saith, Restore. Hallelujah. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord? He against whom he have spoiled? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient to his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of the battle, and it hath set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. So when we get so disruptive against our people, we have to be very careful. The Bible says, who sent them there? Who caused Jacob to become for a spoil? 
The Lord, he did it because he told them that he was going to do it once they turned from his face and turned from his covenant that he was going to put them in trouble. So we are here to help to bring our people back to the place of reckoning. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to give him some praise on that one. All right. It comes so quickly when you're doing the will of the Father. It doesn't take long for time to pass. Hallelujah. So let's pray out in the name of the Father, Yahweh. Father, we thank you and we honor and we praise your name this morning. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and we give you all the praise. Because you have done great things, and they're marvelous in our eyes. Keep us in the center of your will today. Take us through every test, every trial, and every tribulation, that we might speak those things that become sound doctrine. Help us to be a help to someone. Help us to be that one that you depended upon to speak the truth in the earth. In the name of Yahweh, shout that the world knows Jesus. We say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. All right, family. That brings us to a close. Aren't you glad that you're one of the ones that was chosen to, to be the last ones in the earth? call upon his name it's a blessing that he have chose us to be so all right we're gonna get ready to go and to let you all go and enjoy your day but before we go we're gonna ask you to subscribe to this channel and please hit the like button that this message may get out to others and the notification bell that you might get the lives and the uploads that we bring in the future Remember, we're praying for you. Don't ever stop praying for the Lord is nigh. Don't ever stop praying because he'll hear your cry. Yah has promised and his word is true. Don't ever stop praying because he will answer you. Hallelujah. So we're so thankful, family, and honoring him for all the great things that he's consistently doing in our life. We can't get away from the praise because we were created for praise. And please don't forget, we have our celebration at hand and it's this weekend. Please help us with it, sow a seed into it. You can come and join in with us here in St. Louis at the airport Marriott. We thank you for your time. Be blessed. Shalom.